Hey everybody, happy long weekend, happy Sunday. Who do we have here? This is what happens when I get lazy. This is a bag of Tychosperma elegans. These seeds I collected in Jamaica uh, back in March. So it is what, May? Uh, we had a month and a half, month and a half between sowing and being in the Coca Cola parlor. This is, um, uh, they've been at 95 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, steady, nonstop. So stay tuned and we are going to get these guys in a community pot. And there you have it. So the most I put in a community pot normally, if it's a palm that's relatively slow growing, is nine to a pot. So I have three rows of three. And uh, this is actually quite a deep pot, but I have lots of these. These are liner pots. So three of these fit perfectly in those black uh, nursery trays. And that's why I use them. They're very good for taking up space and uh, they have good drainage. And uh, they're pretty easy for me to get all the palms out of here um when i'm ready to haul them so and i don't want to do any more than nine because i want to be able to get some of these things out of here eventually uh s some palms like say washingtonias and all that you community pot them and the roots just go crazy so these guys here they're not too bad these type of sperm elegans the, the roots are actually really small they grow really slow they're like a lipstick palm so you'll actually get more growth of green than you will roots at the beginning so they're pretty slow uh rooting so they're going to be easy to pull from this pot okay so uh, stay tuned and we'll show you what we're going to pot up next. Okay, next on the list for today's planting, a bag full of Beccario Phoenix Alfredii, the high plateau coconut. So same thing is going to go on here. Now these are bigger, these are fast grower. They take up more room. So I may only do six to a community pot. So uh, stay tuned here and we'll see what we can do. So you can't see them, but these things actually have pretty deep tap roots. So... I ended up doing a community pot of four, and uh, it looks like this bag has been 100% germination, but everything is so small. So I'm gonna leave them on the heat mat for a while longer. And uh, so just a reminder, guys, you guys interested in any of my palm seedlings, stuff like that, let me know. Um, I have to clear out some room for the 2020 stuff that's coming out right now. And uh, I have sold some foxtails and some other stuff, but uh, anyway, let me know if there's anything you're interested in. To finish off this quick Sunday episode, last but not least, I kind of, I don't know if I say I repotted this. This is a Trachycarpus fortunate. This is my oldest one I have that I've grown from seed. It's about uh, two and a half, three years old. And I just basically put it in a pot that's maybe a half inch bigger aside. So actually it's a good pot up size because I find these guys, Trachycarpus fortunate in pots or the soil, they're, um, they're not very root hardy in pots. They literally need really good drainage, lots of oxygen. I've had these things root rot and die me like crazy. So this one is actually super healthy. The roots are doing fantastic. So this guy is going to go outside on our front porch in the shade for now because he will burn like crazy. And uh, this guy may be in the ground at my house in a year or two with a box. Who knows? We'll see. But this is my oldest one. I think the seed came originally from Banana Joe. So hope you guys enjoy the long weekend and uh, we'll talk to you soon.